Today, we are comparing the new 16-inch MacBook Pro with the previous generation 15-inch MacBook Pro. Apple has discontinued the 15-inch MacBook Pro, replacing it with the new 16-inch. Though, even though the 15-inch MacBook Pro is gone, it is still important to compare the previous generation with the new one, not only to see how the 16-inch MacBook Pro has improved, but it gives you a good comparison if you are still looking at picking up a marked down 15-inch MacBook Pro that's still out there on the market. So let's go ahead and jump into the comparison. As far as the design goes, both of these machines look very similar from the outside. They pretty much have the same unibody design, the same large trackpad, everything else, but the biggest thing you're gonna notice is the screen. The screen is now 0.6 inches larger diagonally, which is done by reducing the bezels a little bit and increasing the size of the machine just a hair. Not much at all, though it is a little bit larger and a little bit heavier. Most people aren't even going to notice the difference until they're holding these two things side by side. Looking specifically at the display, a lot of the display is the same. It still reaches the same 500 nits of brightness and supports the full P3 wide color gamut. But there is one big difference. Not only does it have a slightly larger resolution because it is a larger display, Apple has increased the PPI just a little bit. The pixel density has gone from 220 pixels per inch to 226. So any photographers or videographers out there who just want the best display they can in their MacBook Pro are definitely going to appreciate the little bit of improvements on the 16 inch MacBook Pro's display. One thing pros will appreciate is the ability to change the refresh rate. From within system preferences, they can choose from a medley of options to really fine tune that display to their particular preference. That's something that is exclusive to the 16 inch MacBook Pro and you can't do it on the 15 inch. Another change between the two models is going to be the keyboard. So the new keyboard brings back the inverted T design for the arrow keys, has a dedicated escape key in that upper left hand corner and it is more reliable than the previous generation. It's reverted back to the tried and true scissor switch design rather than the butterfly switch design that Apple's used from the 2016 to mid 2019 MacBook Pro models. So if keyboard reliability is of the utmost importance to you, you should feel more safe going for the 16 inch MacBook Pro rather than the 15. Now let's talk about the performance between the previous generation 15 inch MacBook Pro and the new 16 inch MacBook Pro. Basically, the processors are going to be the same. So the processors along the line are going to be very similar. The main difference is that you're gonna get a little bit more performance out of the new MacBook Pros simply because of the improved cooling system within the design. So it's going to allow you to have those higher clock speeds for a longer sustained period of time. So day-to-day -day usage, you may not notice for small tasks, but longer tasks are gonna get higher clock speeds for a longer period of time, which is definitely going to boost your productivity. Apple has significantly increased the graphics power, however. Apple says the new base model is more than twice as fast as the previous generation base model. Apple is using the AMD Radeon Pro 5000M series, and it can be configured with up to 8 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. Looking at base to base, the previous generation shipped with the AMD Radeon 555X GPU with 4 gigs of GDDR5, and the new one, the base model, shipped with AMD Radeon Pro 5300M with 4 gigs of GDDR6. The old machine could be upgraded to an AMD Radeon Pro 560X GPU with 4 gigs of GDDR5, and the new one can be configured with an AMD Radeon Pro 5500M GPU with 8 gigs of GDDR6. On our two base machines, each equipped with a 6-core i7 processor at 2.6 gigahertz. Here are Geekbench 5 results. You can see there's not a huge difference between these two machines because they are pretty much running the same processor. Though you do notice the longer, better performance on the newer machine thanks to that new revamped cooling system. And here are our Cinebench results and you can see we definitely have a higher performance here on the updated one thanks to that updated GPU. It is rocking an AMD Radeon Pro 5300M with four gigs of GDDR5 RAM compared to our 15.4 inch model, which is only equipped with a Radeon Pro 555X GPU and 4 gigs of GDDR5 RAM. The new machines can have a maximum of 64 gigs of RAM, whereas the last generation 15 MacBook Pro was capped at 32. Apple's also increased the uh, speed of the RAM going from 2400 megahertz up to 2666 megahertz. So even though they both start at 16 gigs of RAM, the new machines have faster RAM built in. Apple has also increased the maximum capacity for storage. It can be upgraded to eight terabytes of storage rather than the previous maximum of four terabytes. So you can pretty much pack up your whole studio and take it with you, do a lot of video or photo editing on the go without having to worry about external storage along the way. Both machines use the same 720p FaceTime camera embedded into that display, but the new model has way improved microphones. Here we'll give you a quick demo of what it sounds like on the new microphones within the MacBook Pro. 
Apple has also given way better speakers. There are now a six speaker setup inside of here and Dolby Atmos support. So if you like to listen to a lot of audio on your computer, you're really gonna love these speakers. We've only played with them for a little bit, but man, they sound really cool. Lastly, Apple baked in just a little bit more power in the updated 16 inch MacBook Pro. It can now go up to 11 hours for casual use versus only 10 hours on the previous design. Overall, there is a clear benefit to the new 16 inch MacBook Pro, but performance wise, just with the CPU alone, there's not a huge difference between this and the previous generation. So if you're okay with the other specs remaining pretty similar and you don't worry about the larger display, the better speakers, the microphone array, the battery life, uh, the improved keyboard design, all of that, and you're just looking at performance of the CPU, then go ahead, save some money and pick up the last generation 15 inch MacBook Pro. Otherwise, go ahead and jump on the 16 inch MacBook Pro. If you wanna grab one yourself, you can find the best deals and prices at the links down in the description. And I wanna hear what you think. Are you gonna pick up a cheaper 15 inch MacBook Pro or are you gonna go for the new 16 inch MacBook Pro? Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.